TV show Thursday. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. You're watching movie and TV show reviews hosted by me, Mary Lynette. So for all my couch potatoes and bed watchers who love binge watching TV shows and movies, this is the show for you. So I've decided to do something different just to give you guys a little break. I decided to post movie reviews on Monday and then TV show reviews on Thursday just so that you have a little gap to get ready for what's to come. For today's episode, we are going to get into the new TV show series, Insatiable, which was released August 10th, 2018. That's what makes it so fun. And as always, there's going to be a lot of spoilers in this review. So if you haven't seen Insatiable and you still want to go see it, I highly recommend you skipping to when I give the review of it from, you know, read from 1 to 10 so that you don't have any spoilers. So I'll be putting up the time code for that so you can just skip right over. Let's get into the logistics of this TV show. I hope I'm saying this right, but it was created by Lauren Gustis and it stars Dallas Roberts who plays Bob Armstrong, Debbie Ryan who plays Patty O'Dell, Kimmy Shields who plays Nani Thompson, and for all my charm fans, Melissa Milano who plays Coralie Armstrong, aka Bob's wife. If you've been living under a rock, Insatiable has had a lot of backlash for its supposed fact shaming. Let me tell you, that is way beyond the trailer that was shown. There is tons of fat shaming. And for all my people who are overweight and you love the way you are, girl, be yourself, boy. You better work. You, If you love yourself, it's fine. And I'm sorry if you watch this and you feel a certain kind of way, but that's not how we all perceive people that are in bigger shape. Like, I me, mean, I'm not I'm not skinny, but I still love myself. I still know I look good. And all that matters is what's on the inside. But let's get back to this TV show. It's based around a girl who used to be very, very obese. She um, has her mouth wired shut for three months and she can only drink liquids so she sheds off all that weight, comes back to school and nobody recognizes her and all she wants to do is get revenge. Wow, they make people who are were obese seem very, very vengeful and upset and petty, honest. Not everybody who loses weight wants to be like, oh, I'm gonna get revenge on everybody. I'm gonna get everybody's man. I'm gonna win prom queen. I'm gonna do it. So we're going to be getting to um, two different things in this review, the characters and the storyline. So let's get into the storyline. So the story is based around Patty, who is the obese girl. She's, um, you know, the one that gets picked on. Everybody picks on Patty at school. Even the band geeks pick on Patty, and that's crazy. She sits at home, eats um, ounces of ice cream, eats like three boxes of pizza a night. But one day, Patty is in at this gas station. You know, she's really, really sad about herself because this guy stood up for her at school and she was like, and her friend tells the guy, oh, Patty wants you to take her out to coffee. And he's like, oh, you thought that that meant I wanted to be with you? Nah, you thought he, which was really mean. So Patty just decides to like stuff her face on the sidewalk next to this gas station. And this homeless man comes up to her and is like, yo, give me some food. And she's like, no, you ain't getting my food. So she punches him in the face. He punches her back in the face and breaks her jaw. So that's why she has to have her jaw wired uh, shut for three months. And the guy wants to press charges on her. Like, man, my man, my man, what you think you're going to get from her? What you think you're going to get from her? Anyway, so after Patty loses all this weight, she's looking for a lawyer. Bum bum, Bob Armstrong. Bob decides to take on her case because he really, really needs to perfect his image, like get his image better because he's a pageant coach and his last um, client didn't win and, his mo and her mom was so mad that she falsely accused Bob of child molestation and even though everybody knew it wasn't true, like it's still a bad thing to have on your rap. He's like, all right, I'm gonna take her case and then I'm gonna convince her to do pageants so that I can get my name back. So he takes her case and he wins and he's like, Patty, you're beautiful, you're gorgeous. Let's put you in pageants so that you can get revenge on all the people who called you fat. You know, you'll feel better about yourself. You'll get um, scholarships for college. All Patty really hears is, there are very people who did And then she's all in. Patty's problem is that she feels ugly inside. 
no matter how beautiful she looks, she still feels like she's a very obese, very unattractive loser inside. I think that's a very important message in this because a lot of people lose weight, a lot of people, you know, get fake butts, fake boobs, fake hair, fake lips, and things that's gonna fix how they feel inside. And it's not always the case, it doesn't always work like that. I think that's a very good message that you have to love yourself for yourself first before you start changing your outside self. That's a very good point in this show. Probably the only good point in this show, but since Bob tells Patty that she's beautiful and that she's this and she's that, she starts to fall in love with him. Mind you, this man's a good 30 years older than her. And she does everything she can to try to get him to want to be with her. Mind you, we got a whole two kids and a wife at home who he loves and he ain't gonna just risk it all for some girl. So that's one thing she has to learn that just because a guy says they're beautiful doesn't mean that you have to sleep with them, fall in love with them, listen to everything that they say just because they call you beautiful. That's one thing that Patty needs to learn. She's just not a likable character. Throughout this whole show, Bob's like, do the right thing, do the right thing, do the right thing. And all she wants to do is do what she wants to do and that, you know, really hurts her in the end because she gets herself into so, so much trouble. There's so many events in this TV show that could have been avoided if she would have just thought, like if she had a better thought process. So Patty has a best friend named Nani and Nani is like in love with her, like in love with her, like in like love, love, in love, love with her. So Nani finds this new cool black chick, so she's with her now. And yeah, Nani does a lot of things for Patty just because she loves her. Like she steals evidence, she, she lies about things, her dad is a cop, like she does all these things to try to help Patty because she loves her and they're best friends. Which goes to show again, another lesson, just because somebody's your friend, just because somebody's your best friend, doesn't mean you have to put yourself in harm's way to make them happy or to do things for them. It's all about what's good for you sometimes. I feel, I feel as though this story is really a redemption story for everybody. So let's start with Patty. She's trying to redeem herself, her image for one, you know, punching a homeless guy and all the other terrible things she do does in this uh, TV show. And just so that people forget that she was ever fat and just see her as this beautiful skinny girl. That's her redemption story. But this story, this show was really, really dumb. Like, the characters are just ditzy. And not there's not too many smart people in this TV show, which I really don't like because it's about people living in Georgia. And I'm like, I know there's, I know people don't, you know, people are smart down in Georgia. And this show makes them seem really, really dense and like ditzy and dumb. And I did not like that. And I also didn't like how bad they talked about people bigger. How that It was just very like, shut up. A lot of the scenes in the show, I'm like, bruh, what is this? So I, this show, uh, so let's give this show a rate, guys. From one being never watch it again to 10 being give it every award that you give it every award you can think of it's a four and a half five you can really live without this show it was not that good it doesn't have a good message doesn't have the best acting it's all right at best please if you can avoid watching it i'd say to you because it wasn't that good so you guys can put your own judgment on that show but if you have seen it and you liked it and you did like some good points on it Please comment down below and tell me what you think so that maybe it'll change my mind. Also, like, share, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.